It's been nearly two months since two lawmakers pled guilty to felony charges connected with bribes from a businessman with lucrative government contracts. Other politicians pledged to give back legal donations they had received. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and follows up. So far, about a third of the donations affiliated with Milton Choi have been returned. While unprecedented, there's still a lot left on the table. In the charges and plea deals involving former state senator Kalani English and former representative Ty Cullen, the feds describe how person A bribed both of them in exchange for political favors. Person A, Milton Choi, also gave lots of money in legal donations to dozens of politicians. More than $300,000 from Choi, his family, and people affiliated with his companies since 2014. His companies scored $8.2 million in state and county contracts. Right after the English Cullen news broke, one of the biggest recipients of Choi-affiliated donations, House Finance Chair Sylvia Luke, told us this. We have a responsibility to forfeit every single cent of what was, what was contributed because we have to do what is right to restore public trust. At the same time, a bunch of senators pledged they'd give back the money too. That's the shadow of the appearance of impropriety. Uh, we don't know if you were bribed, but we know other people were bribed by the same guy that gave you money. We checked on whether those refund checks were ever written. The Campaign Spending Commission tells us they received dozens of returns from February through March, totaling well over a hundred grand. Luke gave back the most, with more than $25,000, followed by 14 grand from Senate President Ron Cucci. The general counsel for the commission tells me the sheer number of candidate committees and amount of funds being voluntarily turned over to the state, all from essentially one contributor, is fairly unprecedented. I saw a handful of big names noticeably absent, including a couple senators who had pledged a give back, so I followed up. Several thousand more was added after my calls from Senator Drew Kanuha, who said my treasurer sent a check for $6,000, and from Mayor Rick Blangiardi's treasurer saying they gave back $7,500. All in, that's more than $130 grand back to the commission so far. Tens of thousands from past candidates or ex-lawmakers will likely never be returned. Senator Miley Shimabukuro was on the February pledge list, but not on the commission return log. But she tells me she's giving it to charity instead. 750 so far, another 2,000 pending. Honolulu City Council member Calvin Say says he's also exploring donations to a nonprofit instead. Kauai Mayor Derek Kawakami's campaign is keeping his donations, telling us they were not tied to any improper or unethical action. He might have credibility in terms of, well, you know, he wouldn't take the stand unless he's clean, right? Still no response back from Governor David Ige, who got nearly 20 grand from Choi and his affiliates over the years. He is sunsetting, <laughs> so he does have a lot less political risks. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always investigating.